Hello everyone, welcome to the new video. Today, 10 tweaks. First five given to me by one of my loyal viewers and second five are ones that I found recently. I don't know how I missed those five suggested by the viewer, but thank him anyway. We start with the first one, Axon Reborn. I've shown Axon before, it just puts your notifications and group them on, this, on the lock screen for easy access, but this Reborn is an updated version. In the uh, settings, very straightforward. You can enable it, have haptic, haptic feedback, dark mode, which I prefer, packed style, which means that they are more close together. You can have it vertically. You can sort by latest, by count, by app name. You can show nothing, which I chose, latest notification, etc. So very cool tweak, and this is how it looks like. So once you unlock it, you see you have your uh, notifications like this and you can just tap on it and you receive you see what's inside so this is pretty awesome tweak axon the next week is epoch or epoch i'm not i'm not sure how you call it so it just messes up your lock screen uh time and date so i just decrease the font side make it bolder and that's it that's the only thing you have to do so you, as you can see my uh, time and date are smaller packed in the middle and they are bold the next week is called Melted Crayons. I know about this tweak from before, but I've never used it. I didn't think, you know, I need it. But recently it's been uh, shown to me and it's pretty straightforward. It supports Apple Music and Spotify. You can have the tint adaptive, light or dark, and you can select the vibrancy as, as you would want to. So when I go to Spotify app, when I play any song, as you can see, it goes all around your screen and it changes adaptively to your uh, screen. So it's pretty awesome, melted crayons. The next week is called Pigment. Pigment colorizes your notifications and your lock screen player, as you can see, very straightforward very simple tweak so i've used pigmented or you can have without a color so it can be always the same the same color so when you go to your lock screen you can see that my player is uh pigmented a little bit takes from the background and also my notifications are like this they take the color of the notification itself so the number is blue in twitter and here as well so this is pigment Wish Dia is a tweak that puts this little icon here in, in Cydia app and this is the wish list for your tweaks. So if you see any tweak that you would like to have, maybe later you want to go back to it. For example, we have a new tweak, Love, and if you, if you like this tweak, you can just hit this button and it's automatically put into your wish list. And this means that you will remove it, you know, if you click it. So when you go here, I have three tweaks which are in my wish list. So pretty useful tweak, wish dia. That's it in terms of Boki07, thank you very much. Now we continue with my tweaks. Now, a recently published tweak, Safari Downloader Plus is an amazing tweak, which gives you the option to download basically anything you want from the internet. Videos, images, you know, pictures that you might need, what, whatever. So if I go to my account, let's say to my, to my channel, as you can see, I can play this latest video that I have here. Safari Downloader Plus is the tweak which gives you this option down there where you have downloads, you have videos, you have files, you have many things, you have many little, many settings that you can, that you can fill. So you can basically download whatever you want. So it, you see here we have this little menu which gives you the option to download and you have available downloads, what, which formats you want to choose from, right? So very useful tweak. Now, apart from this, it's uh, it, this tweak from the same developer, it has, uh, we have another one which is called Odyssey. Now Odyssey tweak, Odyssey tweak is also a paid one very cool tweak, old tweak, but it's been updated for iOS 13. You can browse your iPhone into details and you can import and do whatever you want with your music files, uh, photos, whatnot. So you can go to any file and you can create your own, your own um, ringtones, for example. So I've created troublesome ringtone from Tupac. So why am I showing Odyssey and Safari downloaded together? First, they're from the same developer. 
and the second thing is that you can actually as you can see it also gives you the option to download it from here and you have soundcloud plus i'm not going to talk about it now so whatever you download from safari downloader plus you can import to your music library through odyssey tweak and you can convert it to the ringtones pretty awesome pretty awesome two tweaks the tweak aia aia not sure free tweak by Lightman, very cool tweak, so you can make your notifications transparent or you can select the opacity level where you, you can select everywhere on springboard, on lock screen. I selected on, on lock screen only because once it, you enable it on springboard and when they drop down, it doesn't look very nice, I have to say. Also, you can configure, you know, uh, you can hide the app name, you can hide the time of arrival, you can hide no other notifications, which I, which I did. Also, you can do some customizations of widgets. You can hide information provided by, you know, and, and the button. You can hide the widget, widget app icon or widget label. So it's pretty cool. This is AIA. The next one, what we have is a very simple one. No UDID, no UDID in Cydia. So just removes that UDID number from the uh, bottom of the Cydia, of the homepage of Cydia. This is very, very useful, especially if you're showing something on, on YouTube like I'm doing. The last week is tweak called Love. Thank you very much to the developer who shared this tweak with me. It's an awesome tweak without entering your uh, currently playing app track like Spotify or mu Apple Music, whatever you're using, you can actually add or remove certain song from the liked song. So if this song is already put in my liked songs, I can get this uh, see, uh, button in control center where I can add this. So you can see this one has been just added to my liked songs. I don't have to unlock the device or I can just remove it just like that very easily. Additionally, you can set up uh, different uh, activator gestures with which you can, you can do this as well. So when you go to this, it will give you active attractions to add track or remove track. You can select from many different, many different options in Activator. I didn't do it for now. I just prefer this one through Control Center. That's it. These are the 10, 10 tweaks. I will be uh, updating my tweaks list and let's hope YouTube will not shut down our tweaks videos. Thank you. A small update. Uh, while finishing the editing of my latest video, uh, Dan Power, the loyal viewer of my videos, suggested that I should give it a try and test Crane Tweak, which was just released a few minutes ago on Cydia, and the developer was a very nice guy who, who gifted this tweak to me to test it. Now, it's pretty awesome tweak. It allows you to have multiple instances of the same app on your phone. Now, this is something which is really, really cool. Now, you go into your applications and you can select any app like I have. I've tested it on the app called, on the CNN app. Yes, so you can put your different instances of the app in certain containers, certain boxes, if you will. So I've created a new one. By default, you have one unnamed or default. Now I've created a new one called iGeek and I have put CNN when it opens on the, in this container, but the default one is in this one. So what does it mean? Also, you have the option to, when you uh, 3D touch, so you can see you have this option to, uh, to start it in the default unnamed container or you can change it and start it within your new container. So I've selected different types of, new, of news for my iGeek container, where I've selected only US edition of CNN, and I've selected maybe two topics only, but once you start it in a different container, if I select the default one, unnamed, it will give me different news it will give me different settings. So in this one, I have international news and the previous one, I'm just looking at for US news. So you can select multiple instances for the same app, which is pretty cool, pretty awesome. Additionally, you can set up multiple accounts in your social media, like I did for Instagram. So when I press and hold, it gives me this option uh, container. However, you can switch here, but regardless. 
So I have two containers, my personal account and my iGeek account. So when I select my personal account, this is the one that I'm using most of the time. But when I do this, when I press and hold and I select uh, iGeek account, it will give me the iGeek account. So it's pretty cool, pretty awesome, pretty awesome tweak. In the settings, what do you need to do? For example, for Instagram, I've selected these two and this is the default, my personal account. I can save it. I can back up this. So I'm backing up the settings for this container, right? It has, it's doing something. I don't know what's doing. So it's archiving all the data regarding my personal account and it will ask me to save. So I can save to Falza. I can save it here as a backup. Also, I can do for the iGeek account. So I can back up the data. It will back it up again and I can again save it as a different document. So later on, I can restore from, from the backup file, right? So this is pretty awesome tweak. Thanks again to the developer and thanks again to the viewer who suggested this at the last minute. I was just about to push this video.